first, let's talk about Yuya. Yuya is written oil and shop in Chinese characters. It's the mystery of Yuya and Ghibli. It's often said that Spirited Away is based on hostess bars and the sex industry. There are blogs that say it is that kind of film, and there are movie critics who explain it the same way. But is it true? A thorough analysis of the mysterious Yuya, where Chihiro works, will make you see something different. I'd like to explain why such a rumor started and what the truth is. The mystery of Yuya and Ghibli. It's Yuya on the storyboard. The main character, Chihiro, will work here. It looks like a magnificent Japanese architecture. But if you look closely, you can see that the bottom half is made of concrete. The upper half looks gorgeous too, but this is Yubaba's penthouse. The really cool part here. This is like the captain's cabin of an old sailing ship or the cabin of the space pirate Captain Harlock. The captain's cabin is exceptionally luxurious. It looks beautiful, but in fact the area where the guests drink and play is limited to a very small area around here, and the rest of the luxurious area is mostly Yubaba's penthouse. Originally this part is. Can you see it? There's a sort of overhang here. It says this is a toilet. It's a drop toilet. There is a toilet in this position, and poop and pee fall from here. It looks like this. What this looks like from the side is. There is also a storyboard that Hayao Miyazaki drew from the side in the early days. As I mentioned earlier, this really cool part of the house belongs to Yubaba, but it's marked here as a guest room. It was drawn by Hayao Miyazaki in the early days, and he hasn't added Yubaba's special room to the building yet. The lower half is as I said. It's concrete. Entering through the main gate, there is the bathroom area with open ceiling and guest rooms attached around it. The staff quarters attached to the back of the building. On the first floor there is a watch seat and a bathroom, and the entire second floor is open. Guest rooms are located around the atrium on the third and fourth floors. Yubaba's penthouse on the fifth floor and above. Hayao Miyazaki calls this building Gyofu style. Gyofu means imitative western style architecture. It's a term in the field of architecture. That means, as you can see, there is the huge boiler house below, as I said, it's made of concrete. In short, it's not a Japanese style wooden building. It's an imitation made of concrete. This type of Japanese style architecture that incorporates western style is called Gyofu in the construction industry. This is the one that was often built in the Meiji period. Rather than an imitation of Japanese style architecture, I would say it is an imitation of western style architecture. During the Meiji period, carpenters who didn't know much about how to build western buildings built them with newly introduced materials and designs, learning from experience. But they still put big tiles on the roof. Such a thing is called Gyofu. This is actually a strong message from Hayao Miyazaki. To be more precise, the term Gyofu refers to the technique of animation itself. In other words, it's the art started by the Western, such as Disney, with the Japanese sense of art put on it. Hayao Miyazaki himself often says that what the Japanese animation industry is doing today is just like that. We put our own sense of style on what the Western country started, and that's what we call Gyofu. So if anything, it's Princess Mononoke itself. This building itself is a strong irony of Princess Mononoke. No matter how much his work depicts the Muromachi period or the Jaman period, according to him, the animations he has created are only in Guyofu style. So he follows the animation techniques of Western countries and Western movies. So this Yuya is not only Princess Mononoke he once created, but Studio Ghibli itself. The women who work in Yuya are actually. At that time, Ghibli had a problem making Princess Mononoke, and a lot of animators left the company. 
At that time, the newcomers were almost all women. It was once said that Ghibli animators were all girls. In fact, Ghibli, its team was made up of many new female employees. What kind of work would they make with female animators? Yubaba, or producer Toshio Suzuki, would say, make a hit. This anime studio, which has become so huge, has to make hits because Isao Takahata spends money and time like water without thinking. In other words, they have to create an animation that satisfies the audience's desires. Hire a bunch of girls and make something that will satisfy the audience's desires in a fake western style building. That's the message we can read. Customers are gods. We just keep on making interesting animations that will please the gods. That's what we do. Our job is this Yuya itself. This is their message. One of the underlying themes of Spirited Away is criticism of Ghibli for chasing money at the time. It's also an anti-Toshio Suzuki film. To cover up this anti-Toshio Suzuki work, a phrase that critics seemed to like was introduced, Yuya is a sex industry. This is how Hayao Miyazaki drew it as a storyboard at the time. Here, God comes, and there is a watch seat inside, and Yubaba sits there. They wash the God's backs to make them feel good. So they try to get rid of God's grime. So God means the audience that comes to the movie theater. When audiences come to the cinema, they are filled with the stress of daily life and other unpleasant things, and they come to the cinema to be moved, to laugh, to shed tears. So they can go home feeling refreshed. That's how filmmakers get paid. So they were told it just had to be a hit. That's what Toshio Suzuki says, but Hayao Miyazaki did it with conviction. Around that time, especially after Princess Mononoke became an incredible success, he began to think that something was wrong. Hayao Miyazaki created Spirited Away with the message, after such a hit, something has gone wrong with us. Then, it was even more successful than that. The idea that Spirited Away was trying to depict the sex industry or was modeled after hostess bars actually came from an interview with Toshio Suzuki. This is the episode in which Toshio Suzuki talked to Hayao Miyazaki about hostess girls. In fact, many hostess girls are not originally good at talking to other people. However, it's interesting that girls who can't speak at all become good speakers within a few weeks of starting to work as a hostess. It made such an impression on Hayao Miyazaki. He said, we, Ghibli, are similar, aren't we? Those who come from the countryside are the ones who are only good at drawing or who are only interested in animating. And as we make the works together, we gradually become able to talk to other people. In fact, that is all Hayao Miyazaki said. But if they say, Japan today is like a hostess bar or a sex industry, the media will be interested. If Ghibli said that would be the theme of the next work, it would be an incredibly great subject to talk about. In the past, I also believed in this announcement. Until about a year ago, I was also easily deceived. I thought Spirited Away would be a depiction of the sex industry. I'm really embarrassed, though. From that point on, Hayao Miyazaki began to create stories that only he could understand. However, this story, which only he can understand, creates a mysterious depth to it. In addition, he has the desire to make it successful, and he also has great ideas and images. This is the secret of the success of the works of Hayao Miyazaki. So if you look at that structure, it became a very strong auteur animation. But if Hayao Miyazaki made an anime for himself, it wouldn't be a blockbuster like Princess Mononoke. Because it's like a private life novel by Hayao Miyazaki and has no sociality. When the theme of the work doesn't seem socially critical, critics won't read much into it. 
That's why Toshio Suzuki starts to mislead us with advertising. At an early stage, Toshio Suzuki realized that Hayao Miyazaki was about to change direction and make a film like his private life novel. He thought, if we don't give this a setting like Princess Mononoke, where there is social criticism, it will never be a blockbuster. Then Toshio Suzuki starts saying that Yuya is an analogy for the sex industry or a hostess bar. It is, as I said, misleading advertisement. Then the critics got it exactly the way he wanted it, and they got it wrong, including me. So no one can tell that the story is about an animation studio.